Welcome to the Verint Threat Protection System demo. We start by viewing the Threat Status Dashboard, giving us an overview of the current state of operations in the SOC. We can see general information such as the top machines at risk, potential zero-day threats, and by expanding the Suspicious Communications panel, we can see all of the suspicious command and control communications detected by the system, as well as the location of the servers from which these communications originate. On the left, we can see the currently open security incidents for review, placed at their related stage in the attack kill chain. Variant Threat Protection System, TPS, includes proprietary patented detection engines, continuously monitoring the network, endpoints and files to provide holistic coverage and detect threats at all stages of the attack kill chain. In this example, there are currently four security incidents awaiting review. Looking at the workflow status, we can see that there are actually over 2,000 alerts in the system. TPS's Autonomous Virtual Analyst continuously investigates all of the alerts in the system, like a team of hundreds of human analysts working 24-7, ruling out false positives and fusing thousands of alerts into prioritized security incidents. We can see that there are currently 217 investigations in progress. Of these, the Autonomous Virtual Analyst decided that four require further investigation by a human analyst. Let's take a look at the open incidents for review. In the investigation module, we can see all the open incidents prioritized by severity. We can track incident status and assign incidents to the SOC analyst for investigation. Let's open the highest priority incident for review. Autonomous investigation, findings. In the incident findings view, the analyst can see a graphical view of all the entities involved in the incident and the connections between them. This view was created automatically by the Autonomous Virtual Analyst. Looking at the findings, we see there are suspicious communications between an external server and two endpoints within the organization. We can also see that on one of the endpoints, two suspicious files were detected, a PDF file and an executable file. The analyst can also play the attack timeline and view the sequence of individual events within the security incident. In this case, a PDF file was downloaded from a suspicious domain. An additional executable file was then found on the same computer. And then another endpoint was discovered communicating with the suspicious domain. While this view provides a good snapshot of the attack, to fully understand the incident, we need more information. So let's move at the workflow view where we can see every investigation step taken by the Autonomous Virtual Analyst. Autonomous Investigation Workflow The workflow view shows us a detailed timeline of all the steps taken when investigating the security incident, either automatically by the Autonomous Virtual Analyst or manually by the Human Analyst. At 2.57, the Autonomous Virtual Analyst started the investigation after a file alert was triggered, as it does with all alerts. We see a suspicious PDF file downloaded by Endpoint 16 from an external server. The Autonomous Virtual Analyst then decided to look for more evidence on this endpoint, triggering an automatic endpoint forensic scan. Looking at the detailed results of the forensic scan, we can see all of the suspicious files found on the endpoint, including the MSSRV exe file, which we saw in the incident findings view suspected as a hacking tool. We can also view processes, communications, execution history, and more. The autonomous virtual analyst decides to send the file to a detailed file analysis for further investigation. From the file analysis results, we learn that this file is, in fact, a variant of Mimikatz, which is a well-known hacking tool used to steal passwords and escalate privileges. The autonomous virtual analyst did not open an incident at this point, but rather continued to investigate and look for more evidence and related alerts. And in fact, 
Roughly two and a half hours later, we see that the autonomous virtual analyst connected an earlier command and control alert to this investigation. Based on its behavioral analysis engine, the system found suspicious communications with endpoint 16 and the additional endpoint which we saw in the incident findings. Out of thousands of alerts in the system, the autonomous virtual analyst found these two alerts to be relevant and connected them to the current investigation. Based on the command and control alert, an additional endpoint forensic scan on the second endpoint was launched. And finally, at 5.51, the autonomous virtual analyst opened an incident and gave it the relevant priority. All of these investigation steps were performed automatically by the autonomous virtual analyst and were documented in order to present the analyst with a complete picture of the attack once he steps into the investigation. Expanding the investigation. Now that the analyst has a better understanding of the attack, he can switch back to the findings view to continue the investigation. At this point, he wants to understand if there are additional internal assets which communicated with this attacker. Right-clicking on the attacker icon, the analyst can open the external address profile. The Entity Profiler is a powerful tool that gathers, analyzes, correlates and displays valuable information on any entity within your environment, not just the suspicious ones. Endpoints, files, processes, external servers and more are presented with statistics and summaries of their relation to all other entities, together with enrichment information, lookups and more. The analyst would like to see which processes initiated the communications to the external address and finds that it was the Acrobat Reader executable. Clicking on the process displays its profile detailing all the process instances including command line parameters, network communications, files, processes and registry. The analyst can see which file was loaded using the command line parameters and confirms it was the PDF file the file analysis alerted on. All this information was collected using the continuous endpoint forensics agent. Clicking on the command line, the analyst can access the endpoint forensics module. The endpoint forensics query displays all recorded instances of processes with the same PDF file name in the command line. Grouping the results by endpoint, the analyst sees that endpoint 16 is in fact the only endpoint which executed this suspicious file. Looking back at the profile of the external command and control server, the analyst can see all the endpoints that communicated with this server. He sees the two endpoints already in the investigation, plus a third endpoint he is not familiar with. The analyst can select this endpoint and launch a network forensics query to better examine its communications with the external server. Variant Threat Protection System continuously monitors and records all network data, including the internal and the external traffic. It includes the full PCAP of all sessions with deep packet inspection on all of the traffic, extracting dozens of different past parameters, including user agent, host, protocol, file hash, and more. Looking at the forensics results, we can see a record of an FTP communication on port 21 between the endpoint and the attacker. This could be a good indication of an exfiltration vector, where the attacker used a third machine in order to steal sensitive files via FTP. All records include full PCAP capture. If required, the analyst can download the PCAP with the click of a button for further examination and analysis. Looking at the different file names within the PCAP, the analyst identifies sensitive files were in fact transferred. Seeing that this session is relevant to this incident, the analyst adds it as evidence and selects the relevant stage in the attack chain, in this case, command and control. Going back to the findings screen, we now see the third endpoint included in the incident. Also, once new evidence has been added to the incident, the autonomous virtual analyst continues to investigate the incident in the background, in this case, running a full scan on the newly added endpoint. Augmented Investigation Following the addition of new evidence, the autonomous virtual analyst runs a full scan on the newly added endpoint. 
Once the scan is complete, the system informs the analyst that new information has been added to the incident. The analyst can then refresh the findings view and see the updated incident story. It seems the scan found that Endpoint 7 has a malicious file associated with it. In addition, Autonomous Virtual Analyst found that this same file appears in another incident investigated in parallel. Having connected the two incidents, we now see that there is a new endpoint with the same file, which communicated with an additional command and control server. We can now zoom out to see the full incident findings. If we replay the incident timeline, we realize that the series of events is quite different from what we initially thought, and that the attack actually started with Endpoint 8. Going back to the workflow view, we can see all the investigation steps added by the human analyst and the autonomous virtual analyst. With the two of them working together, we can quickly gain visibility into the full attack storyline. Response now that the intelligence picture of this attack is a lot clearer, we can move on to orchestrating a remediation response or generating actionable intelligence for additional security functions. In order to block the malicious server identified in the incident, all the analyst has to do is mark it as actionable intelligence. The system can integrate with the organizational firewall, blocking the server automatically. We can do the same with files and other entities within the incident. Now that we've orchestrated a response for remediation, the analyst can generate a summary report for the incident with the click of a button. Threat Protection System automatically generates a PDF report with all the relevant data from the incident. The report includes general information regarding the handling of this incident, the graphical findings diagram, all of the investigation steps conducted by both the autonomous virtual analyst and the human analyst, and the response activities. The analyst can now close this incident and move on to his next business critical task. Variant Threat Protection System Augmenting the Reality in the SOC.